welcome to my show. I am Dr. Elena Eustache and today my guest is actor, songwriter and singer Melissa Mars. It's such a pleasure to have you here. So tell us what you're up to, what is the newest project you're working on? So I have this movie coming out on July 31st in LA and New York. So if you're around that week, get your tickets. It's for Six Ways to Die. It's starring Vivica Fox. Uh, Vin I love Vivica. <laughs> I love her too. I was in two movies with her actually. She's lovely. Yeah. Uh, it's starring also uh, Vinnie Jones, Bai Ling, who was in The Crow, uh, Tom Sizemore, Dominic Swain from Lolita movie, mm -hmm. you know, so it's oh, a wonderful great cast. cast. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. For um, an action crime movie, it's a story about revenge, a man who wants to ruin another man's life in six different ways and I'm one of the six ways and uh, you work also as a songwriter what are some of the and you've worked in France uh, yes I've released like three albums I've been in that musical uh, directed by Olivier Dahan who oh. helmed the Oscar movie Ma yeah. Rose uh, recently I've had a song picked up by coca-cola for their compilation, 52 Songs for Happiness. Amazing, are you singing in French or English? Uh, in that song I'm singing in French. Uh -huh. It's a song that I wrote in Michigan actually. I fell in love with Michigan, which is which seems strange to some people. No, but it's very green <laughs> and nice in the summer. I don't know, in the winter it's a little icy yeah, and cold, it's really but it's beautiful cold. in the summer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, this summer. I, I, I shot my first American feature film there uh -huh. and the, the fall, that was like, I, I arrived there on the 1st of October and the fall was so amazing and, it's my, and it, it inspired me that song called Beautiful because I saw all the colors of the fall like yeah. yellow, red, gray, uh, green, all the shades of those colors, that was really amazing and, oh. and that song that is kind of a bossa nova style which is not like mainly my style, that was completely <laughs> new for me but it just came that way, you know, and then Coca-Cola picked, picked it up for their compilation that they released last That's year. amazing. Yeah, That's with the whole weird. happy movement, you know, wow. with the Carol Congratulations. Stuff. That's you. fantastic. Tell us, are you single? Is there someone <laughs> special in your life? <laughs> I am single. I am, uh, you know, I've been traveling so much. As an artist, it's really, really hard to create a couple uh, keep balance, right? yeah keep a balanced life <laughs> but if there would be one thing that you're looking for in a man that you haven't found yet what would it be it would be a mix of things like yeah the sense of humor is important but it's like the protection also being pr really protective it's I very like masculine yes and I, I really like that <laughs> okay so men out there if you're protective and humor <laughs> and, and you <laughs> actually I like working with the person I'm having a relationship with mm -hmm. just because for me that's the best thing to be able to do is to create together so mm -hmm. whether it's children or projects like movies or songs yeah that's the most magical thing for me oh yeah. wonderful mm -hmm. so courting each other yes that's very good and how do you feel about forgiveness it's easy to forgive somebody else and to be forgiven but we forget to uh, do that work within ourselves yes. and to forgive ourselves and if you could share with me the most romantic moment you ever had oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well i would say coming back to the idea of working together i think oh. that's uh, that's, that's the works I've, I've done. Oh, I love that. That's yeah. wonderful. So if you have any question about men that you don't understand and you would want to know, what would it be? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole list, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Okay. But we're gonna just so first like off, what is it about like watching that much football, especially American football, that they watch all day long, like all Sundays, it's like in front of the TV. I'm like, what? Well, it's Why? a masculine activity because men like to fight and get dirty and compete and it yes. just gets them in their manhood. So they the really Sundays. love 
Yes, they, they <laughs> like to get in their masculine energy and they really like to watch when other men are competing and fighting and get dirty and mm -hmm. muddy. So it's it's something that men like to do, just like we like massage and manicure. Okay. So that's an well, activity. Well, I would love to spend that much time in massage. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Anything else you would, you're, uh, yeah, it's a thing, mystery. It's like, yeah, there's something. It's like whenever they know what pisses you off, they would just go straight there and it's for them humor and it's supposed to be funny and it's like ah. well men are naturally built to joke and make fun and mm -hmm. we women are more sensitive and we are in our feelings and take it personally but they really when you see men between each other they tease each other they joke yeah. they fight they just have a different sense of humor so sometimes they're not aware that our feelings are so sensitive so oh, they yeah. just want to play with us like buddies so it's natural it's masculine <laughs> So if you could be anywhere in the world right now, where would you want to be? With someone? With the other half. Uh, anywhere that I could call home. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wonderful. Uh, that's a nest that I would <laughs> like to have. So it was such a pleasure to have you here you and we look me. forward, you're welcome, we look forward to watch your movies and see you on more screens and uh, singing and growing your career and find the one uh -huh. that will protect her and be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give you a thank you so much for thank being you. here, it was a pleasure, thank you. <laughs> thank Thanks. you. I hope you enjoyed my show as much as I did with my guest Melissa Mars and I will see you next time for more topics.